I'll just do it by myself. Everything was going to plan. Emma Bullock was loving her time at University of South Florida, got accepted into the nursing program, and she was doing what she always did, volunteering with those that needed it the most. But like any other college freshman, she missed her family, and she was ready to come home on a short two-hour drive to see her mom, who was a teacher in Fort Myers. Um, it was the weekend of Super Bowl Sunday, 2021, Saturday night before the game. She left, I think, around 10.30 p.m. from Tampa to come here, which is about a two-hour drive. About 40 minutes from home, a series of freak events happened. It was a single car accident going north, and his, his uh, boat dislodged and went across the highway into the southbound lane, the one that she was driving in. Long story short, she hit the boat. And but it clipped her mirror. She proceeds to try to get to the shoulder of the road to get off, and there's a, a bridge right there, so it's she doesn't have much time before she has to get, get over. And I'm sure she's trying to do it carefully and not hit anybody on the way over. And she pauses before she gets all the way off the highway. And, and just at that minute, the tow truck driver who is watching the accident and not, look, not looking at the road in front of him slams into her. The community was stunned, shocked, and saddened. Emma Bullock had passed. She was just 19 years old. What you don't understand when someone leaves you is that you don't just lose the person, you lose how that person made you feel, how that person changed the dynamic of the family. I, I know it's, everyone says this, right? He lit up the room, she lit up the room, but she, she really did. She really did. A long time passed before Sherry Bullock could bring herself to regain any sense of normalcy. Eventually, Emma's Echo Foundation was created and there was new hope found to everyone. She loved to work with disadvantaged and disabled kids. She went on mission trips all through high school to Nicaragua and Bolivia. She um, was the president of the life skills class at her high school, so that's physical and cognitive disabilities in children and loved those kids. So Emma Zecco um, is a way for us to move forward, to honor her memory, to honor the work and the kids that she loved, um, to make something redeeming come from this, to make something positive out of what is otherwise wholly tragic. The foundation started by sponsoring an orphanage in Uganda. In a strange turn of events, a once orphan man happened to find Sherry on Facebook. I want to go to Africa and, and see if this orphanage is legit. Is this guy who he says he is? is are the orphans, do they really need help? You know, is this, is this something that Emma Zeko could take on? So we went out to Kampala, Uganda and found Alex Kabagambi and Kabagami Child Care Foundation. You know, there is what we call, you have a dream, but it has been transformed to you through some people. Though you don't know them, though you have never met them. So all this dream of ours came just from Emma's echo. I know I won't say much about her, but she's just a great soul that has transformed lives in Uganda. No future for Emma here on earth. So if her name can be on a building or in a house and positive, and I mean, this was life changing to that. Only those who have lost a child can decide how life can possibly move forward. For the Bullock family, a tribute hangs in the dining room that reads, where life begins and love never ends. And it's there within their walls, within their hearts, and now in different corners of the world, that everyone will hear Emma's echo forever.